you know, from a culture standpoint on defense, um, I felt like we were in a really good place. But at the same time, from a coaching perspective, us learning our players at a, at a higher level and really adapting the scheme to them. And I can't say that I did that the entire year for them and was the best version of myself for them. So um, now it was just uh, infusing this group with a little bit more talent. So I'll start with Sauce. He's just got tremendous length at the position. So that's the first thing that just jumps out at you. He checks all those boxes as far as the matchups concerned. He's not going to get big boyed out there by anybody. You know, so you see him right here. He's working in the slot, getting his hands on. I mean, more times than not, you see reps like this where just receivers absolutely give up on plays because of the length, because of the strength, because of the foot quickness, and because of the dog mentality that he has to challenge you at the line of scrimmage too. This was like the next phase of, of really studying him. This is him up top. I, I could show you a million reps that look like this at the end of the play where he is, he is absolutely connected, like he is off the board. Up top, working against Jamison, probably one of the fast receivers that's come out of college football in a long time, you know? It's really cool that he was not able to leave Sauce. He was not able to get separation from him. He was not able to run by him. This is what plays looked like when they were when they were matched up together, consistently connected to him. There's guys that are great at the line of scrimmage. There's guys that are great in phase and, and can stay connected to routes. Um, but what's really rare, especially for a college guy, is to have this poise at the catch point that allows him to do this. And you just see him as he gets targeted, like absolutely zero panic in his game. Like all those other things say first round pick to me, but this is where you say like top five pick. Here's a really good rep of Alabama. This, this, this is a demonstration of awareness, of effort, of toughness, but of the whole thing. Him understanding what's coming on and off the block, and then to throw it in there. Like it's just, you don't find it a lot, especially with these high level corners. And this is all over his tape. And then as you learned him, not just the football player, but the man, um, it just, he started checking even more boxes for us. So it's a guy that uh, we're all excited about his future. Well, the fact that they were able to get Garrett Wilson at 10 and then Jermaine Johnson at 26 trading back into the first round is, is spectacular. Jermaine, he was a guy that, um, like I would have been absolutely ecstatic if we took him at 10, you know? So the fact that we got him whenever we got him, whatever, whatever the pick was, um, I was blown away because to me, he was a top 10 talent, you know? And I really believe that he'll become that. First of all, from a physical standpoint, he checked a lot of boxes. He had length and speed, um, which is obviously, that's kind of the foundation of, of most good rushers. Um, and then you start really analyzing the tape and here's a guy with pass rush skill he understands how to rush. You see the tackle overset him right here. He wins inside, he reduces surface on the next blocker, and then the ability to finish. In this league, if you only have finesse, if you only have pass rush skill, if you only have hands, um, you'll be very incomplete, and you're not gonna be uh, a 10 plus sack a year type guy. You have to have a power element to your game. You have to, you know, and uh, he definitely puts this on tape as well. Like he's got the ability to absolutely like melt a pocket. So he's demonstrating skill, he's demonstrating power, and right here demonstrating just a relentless mindset to get to the ball. This is when you just fight for a guy and you want him part of your team. And he just stands for all the right stuff. He's different. And then he's also a guy that, that when he does win, he consistently finds the ball, which all great rushers do. And then what I love is more times than not, normal ball in the NFL, I set the edge, outside arm and leg free. I did my job. Like we preach in this building, that's not enough. And he already embodies that mindset. So here he is setting an edge, showing the level of physicality, toughness, willingness to be a good run defender, and then the shed and the finish on the ball. A lot of guys just wrap up and make this tackle. To me, he's going in there with bad intentions a level of physicality that you don't see with a guy typically with this, this skill set that he has. I thought we've had a, a tremendous start so far, phase one. To see the level of commitment from these guys, the guys on this defense are demonstrating what it's gonna take to become the defense that we wanna become. You know, But it's gonna take a relentless attitude and mindset to find our, our inches every day in all that we do.